Imagine a technology which could stop excess carbon dioxide from entering the atmosphere and reduce the rate of climate change. Four projects based on carbon capture technology aim to do exactly that. And now, with a million dollar funding, these projects are raring to go. Let's tell you more about them. This pile of green rocks washed ashore is olivine. It is what helps turn carbon dioxide into shells. Shells which can be permanently stored as rocks in the seafloor. On Monday, four companies hit the jackpot with $1 million in support to expand their projects in the fight to improve carbon capture technology. The money is coming from San Francisco-based electronic payments company Stripe. The company is supporting a radical approach to fighting climate change. One of those projects is a beach project, taking olivine to the water's edge to absorb more carbon. It's called Project Vesta. Vesta wants to harness natural wave power. Eric Madsner, a self-described biohacker, is the project's co-founder. Step one of Project Vesta is to locate a, a reserve of dunite, which is a formation of 90% pure olivine. Once we find that location, we'll, step two is to minimally grind and transport it to the nearby coastline. Step three is to put that rock with a thin layer on the beach where the, in the tidal area where the waves will grind it down into small sand and the collisions will rapidly accelerate the weathering process, which sucks up CO2. Another project comes from San Francisco-based Charm Industrial. The project is hoping to reverse hundreds of years of fossil fuel burning and put carbon dioxide back into the ground. It's doing so by taking carbon-containing biomass that would otherwise decompose like agricultural waste. At the most basic level, we're taking waste agricultural residue. In this case, that's uh, sawdust. In other cases, it could be almond shells. Uh, in other cases, it could be corn stover or sugarcane bagasse, etc. And we're taking that waste agricultural residue, heating it up without oxygen, so without air, and that causes it to turn into solid ash and a liquid called bio-oil. And that bio-oil contains almost all the carbon that came from the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And then we take that carbon uh, bio-oil and pump it underground into uh, waste disposal wells. The two other projects include Switzerland-based Climeworks, which is one of the three best-known startups that take carbon straight out of the air. The other is Carbon Cure Technologies, which puts carbon into concrete. Its method is being used in 285 concrete plants. If expanded, these projects could certainly prove to be efficient climate warriors against greenhouse effect. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One.